Hello everybody, my name is Tina and I am the founder of homeschoolingandoils.com and I am, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube and I'm just newly on Twitter. But at any rate, I'm here to show you what I'm doing today. Well, one of the things that I'm doing today and I want to just show you real quickly about how easy it is to stay on the wellness track. It just takes a little bit of preparation, but you can actually do amazingly with just a little thought process ahead of time of what you're going to put into your body. Because what we put into our body fuels the body. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get right into it. Oh, and I can't remember that I introduced myself. For those of you who don't know me, I am Tina. And so right quickly, I'm going to show you, like I was telling you on another video, I was telling you how um, I absolutely love like my new wave oven, my pressure cooker, my crock pot, because it has been instrumental in helping me be able to put healthy, um, complete meals on the table with me being so busy with all the things that I do. So right now, um, it is really, really hot and humid over here in South Carolina. So you, you really don't want to be in the kitchen that much because it's so hot, but yet you still want to be healthy as well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started. Like I'm going to use my um, power pressure cooker to get started with some chicken and I'm going to make some um, vegetables on the side and a nice salad. And then I'm also going to make a very nutritious smoothie and I'm going to show you what I use. Um, you can use whatever blender you have. Um, before I forget, if you're watching the replay, please put hashtag replay and let me know. Give me a shout out where you're um, looking at the video from so I can connect with you. So, I use the Vitamix. I absolutely love the Vitamix. Um, everyone has their own preference, but this is what I'm doing today. I noticed that I'm kind of like slow today, so I know I need a little bit of more protein. need a lot of those good old nutrients. So, I'm going to be using Young Living Pure Protein Complete. And it's chocolate because I want something sweet too. <laughs> and I'm going to use some strawberries, some yummy strawberries. It has many different antioxidants and they're just good. I'm going to use some blueberries in the smoothie. And by the way, all of these are fresh. So they're not frozen. And I'm also going to use some bananas. I'm going to use some flat seeds. And I'm also going to use some kale. And so I'm going to use all of these, and I do have some ice too as well, because keep in mind that these are fresh fruits and vegetables, so I need to add ice in order to make the smoothie really yummy and cold like I like it. Um, so if you are um, if you buy your fruit ahead of time and then you freeze it, because I do freeze my fruit and vegetables as well, um, you won't need ice because you'll already have ice um, with the fruit being frozen. But mine is not frozen, it's fresh, so I'm going to have to use ice. So what you do first is put whatever um, fruit that you want and how much you can use, how much you want. I'm, we love strawberries in this house. I don't know about you. And we use um, blueberries as well. So we're going to use those, a little bit of that. For those of you who are not really, you don't really like kale, but you're trying to figure out a nice way to add kale into your diet, um, this will be an excellent way for you to add kale into your diet because with the strawberries and the bananas and the blueberries, you won't really taste it that much if you're a person who don't like the taste of um, kale. I personally love the taste of kale. I eat it raw just like it is. Now I'm going to put some bananas. And the riper the better because it helps your smoothie be real, real sweet. If you're not a person that don't really like a sweet smoothie, then you just use bananas that is not as ripe. Next, after that, I am going to put a scoop. Now, the directions say use two scoops. But being that I'm adding so, much, so many different things in it, I'm just going to use one scoop. And it comes with a scoop, a scooper. Because I don't want my smoothie to be overwhelmed with chocolateness. I just want a taste of it, a hint of it. So now the last thing, I can't remember to add my flat seeds. So I'm going to add my flat seeds as well. And 
just to add a little kick, I put um, cinnamon essential oil in it. Okay, and now I'm going to add my ice. some water as well but we'll see let's see just to loosen it up a bit now I'm gonna warn you this this bad boy is pretty loud so if you have real sensitive ears I suggest that you put it on mute while I start this up but it can be loud so you when you start your vital pressure mixer you want to make sure that you start on low and at one, and then you gradually go up to 10, and then you put it on high. can add more ice if you want it more thicker if you want to make like an ice cream you can do that but if you just want it like a milkshake kind of feel then you just um, keep it at this consistency and then you just simply pour it in and I absolutely cannot find any of my cute glasses so I had to use a mug so this is how it looks this is how it looks I mean, let me taste this thing <laughs> Mm-hmm. Real, real good. Someone else was on here and they just said, hello, I missed your name. But hello. So it's really, really good. Now, if you're a person that wants a little bit more sweet, you can add you some honey or agave or some pure sugar cane to it if you if you are more inclined to more of a sweetness. Hey, Virginia. And you can add that to it. But that was super duper easy. And then that has all the antioxidants and the things that you need to fuel your body in a healthy way. And you know that you're doing good things for your body because this um, pure protein complete has um, only 170 calories. It has your protein. It has um, vitamin B, vitamin 12, biotin. It has calcium. It has zinc. And that's just some of the things that it has. And it has way, way more stuff in it. But it's super duper healthy. If you're a person that you like, like me, I'm so busy. I, I like to have something already done. And I just add my little goodies to it based on how I'm feeling or what I like to taste during that particular day. So that is my smoothie. And as you can see, I do have a lot left over. So, but it's not going to be like this for long because my kids and my husband are going to come in and drink all of this. But what I do is I buy um, these Ziploc bags and I add my fruit and vegetables in it. And they pre-make however they want their smoothies to be. And then they just grab the bag and just make it. Just pull it out and just make it. And so that's how we do it. Now, I'm getting ready to show you how easy it is to make chicken thighs in your pressure cooker if you have a pressure cooker. Now, I have a 10 quart. Most people have like a six. So, um, mine might be a little bit off from yours, but you just take frozen chicken thighs, chicken breast, whatever you want to use. I'm using frozen chicken thighs. To me, chicken thighs taste the best because it's more flavorful. When you add um, seasonings on, you would notice that chicken thighs hold the flavor. It's a very lean meat, and it's also relatively inexpensive. I don't know why. Um, for the most part, people are more inclined to the wing or, or, the, or the breast part of the chicken, but thighs have the best flavor, and I really, really like thighs better, meaning flavor-wise. So... I put the thighs in. Let me get me a spoon. Move it around. And whatever seasoning that you like, you use whatever seasoning that you prefer. Me, I like to use things with no MSG in it. So I do have some seasoning here that has no MSG. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. 
MSG is a terrible food additive that wreaks havoc on the body. It's even known to cause migraines. And just look it up, you'll be surprised. And find out about what foods normally have MSG in it. I like to use this organic garlic and my Himalayan salt. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I love to infuse my essential oils with my food. So for this, instead of using regular table um, black pepper, I will be using it's um, Young Women Vitality's black pepper. And you only need a little bit because, okay, because it's um, very, very potent. So you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. You can use one to two drops or whatever you prefer. I love the taste of having my lemon essential oil in it. It just the way it tastes with the chicken. And just a couple of drops. And my special ingredient that makes my chicken taste so yummy is rosemary essential oil. I absolutely love it. It gives the chicken a different flavor. And you don't need a lot. And keep in mind that this chicken is frozen. So you won't need... Um, you only need a little bit of water to pressurize the chicken. But if you're using fresh chicken, you will need at least a cup of um, water in order to pressurize. But the reason why you don't need that much when the chicken or the meat is when the chicken is frozen is because it's frozen and already has water on it. And as it pressurizes, the uh, the ice will melt off the chicken. But I'm gonna use a little bit of water. And you know I can't have my chicken without some onions. <laughs> I just love onions. <laughs> so, all that you do now is close it and set it. And I set it for 15, I'm going to start with 15 minutes and then I'm going to check it. And then after that, if it's not to my specifications, I add just five more minutes at a time. But usually between 15 to 20 minutes. But keep in mind, mind that my um, pressure cooker is a 10 quart. So if you have a 6 quart, yours will be really, really fast. You need to like, like chop off some of the time. Like if I use 15, you'll probably use about 9 minutes to do yours in a, like a 6 quart. But of course, everybody like their chicken a little bit different or their meats a little bit differently. So if you open it up and you notice that... It, you like yours just a little bit more tender or a little bit more cooked more. Um, just put it on for a little while longer. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> and so right now it's pressurizing. So once, let me make sure I turn the pressurizer on. Yeah. So once it pressurizes, then um, 15 minutes we'll be ready to eat. I already um, prepped. We already have a nice salad going. We're gonna have, we're gonna start off as an appetizer with our um, healthy smoothie. Um, my kids actually come in and they um, make their own ice cream with the Vitamix and we add some essential oils in that too. If you wanna add a little kick to your, to your smoothie, add a little cinnamon vitality, it is so good. Oh, pause it, <laughs> he's hungry. Yes, so as you can see, it's super duper easy with plan and forethought to eat healthy we don't have to just run to you know those fast food places <laughs> and then we wish we hadn't done it and then we pay for it later just take a little bit of forethought it's very easy to do this because bananas are super duper inexpensive i bought the right banana so that is even more inexpensive because they're trying to get those out of the store and i like to try to buy organic as much as possible due to the pesticides and then blueberries are like two, three dollars. And strawberries are relatively inexpensive. Even the scale, when you think about all of this, all of this is not that much. Just don't get that little combo or that little two piece <laughs> that we normally would go through and just get some of this so that you can fuel your body so that you can prevent diseases. Prevention is the key. If you can prevent something from happening, it will keep you above the wellness line. And this is one of my favorite. They do have, young women do have vanilla. In case you was wondering, they do have vanilla, but I love me some chocolate. <laughs> 
So vanilla is not my thing, but it might be your thing. I mean, I like vanilla ice cream every now and then, but I prefer to have a chocolate because I use it for a treat. Um, it just seems like chocolate just makes me feel so good. It just tastes so good to me. Um, but I have noticed that the vanilla is a little bit more sweeter. So if you want something that's a little bit more sweeter, then I suggest getting the vanilla because the vanilla is way more sweeter. So if you're looking for something way more sweeter, vanilla, in my opinion, is way more sweeter. Chocolate is sweet, but not as sweet. It gives just a hint of what you need. Um, sweetness, in my personal opinion. That's just my taste buds. But um, that's what I particularly like to do. And like I told you before, if you do want it more sweeter, you can still have your sweets and be healthy. You can use agave, um, organic honey. You can use pure, pure sugar cane. You don't have to reach for that other one that they make in the chemistry lab. Reach for pure stuff. Try to stay as close to how it comes out of the ground as possible. That's the key. So, um, Paul says um, bananas and vanillas are yummy. Yeah, it is. That combo is very, very yummy. But I love, I have to have me some strawberries too. <laughs> he said his stomach is growling. So I didn't mean to make you hungry, but I just wanted to make you think. <laughs> but at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and basically the chicken is going to do itself because I can just set it and walk away. Um, the smoothie is already done. If you want it more like an ice cream consistency, the only thing you have to do is add ice and then make it creamy just like a soft. Um, what they call it soft curd i think that's what they say um really like a soft yogurt kind of texture it'll, it'll you can actually depending on how much ice you add make it more of that consistency where you actually eat an ice cream instead of having a smoothie like a milkshake so it's up to your preference so that is about it oh one more thing i want to show you how easy it is to make lemonade this is my water i already prepped it ahead of time only thing you need to do um i'm gonna make lemon lemonade without lemons <gasps> how can i do that <laughs> well i'm gonna show you um young liver has this lemon essential oil and it's the vitality line with the white label so that you will know that it's um safe for consumption so only thing you do and it's again this is preference too you put a couple drops I like seven to eight drops. Some people like 10 to 15. It just depends on how tart you want your, um, your lemonade. And then I take my pure sugar cane and I add that to it and then I stir it up. And I also like to put in sometimes my orange um, or citrus fresh inside of it and basically citrus fresh. Um, essential oil with the Vitality line is just basically lemon, orange, all the different limes. It's added into one, it's a, one essential oil. And you can just, instead of having separate bottles, it's all in one bottle. And so, only thing you do after that is you mix this up, and then you have lemonade. Yes, without the pesticides and the yucky stuff, and you didn't have to peel anything, squeeze anything. Tastes just as good, and it's healthy for you, and it's super duper yummy. And I love it. So, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Sunday. You guys can rest for the rest of the day and relax. My family and I, we're getting ready to chow down. We're going to eat our lovely rosemary lemon onion chicken with our nice salad. We're going to have our smoothie first as an appetizer. And that's about it. So, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Oh, you're so sweet. Let me see. That's why I bet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. And it's on a Sunday more than less. I have a lot of interaction. I love talking with you. <laughs> so you guys have a great rest of your day. I, I need to eat. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, it's time to get down. <laughs> you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Um, wait a minute. Virginia said, let us know how the chicken turns out. Tell me the recipe again. Okay. Um, Virginia wanted another recipe, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show her the recipe real quick. You can use whatever chicken you want. I have personally, um, boneless chicken thighs. You can use chicken with the bone. It doesn't really matter. You just add a couple more minutes onto it. Um, I use boneless chicken thighs. 
I use lemon vitality essential oil. I use rosemary vitality essential oil and I use black pepper essential oil instead of using the regular table um, pepper. I use the Himalayan sea salt here and I use organic garlic and I use um, for those of you who know what this is, let's see. I use just a regular uh, seasoning salt that has no MSG. No MSG. No MSG in it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with MSG, I encourage you to Google it and you'll be surprised. Because it's basically a food enhancer, but it's chemical based and it can wreak havoc on the body. It can cause a lot of different migraines. And you'll be surprised that you'll find the MSG in a whole lot of our food products geared towards children and adults. You'll notice that it's in a lot of the fast food. That's why you constantly crave it and stay, you eat and then all of a sudden you get so hungry afterwards because it has that artificial stuff in it that our body can't really process that well. And then I added some fresh onions to it and I closed my pressure cooker and I'm cooking it for 15 minutes. I have a 10 quart power pressure cooker. Um, if you have like a six quart, Something smaller, it would take a um, less amount of time. It would take maybe maybe eight, nine minutes, maybe 10 minutes at the most with a smaller one. Um, I go between 15 and 20 because mine is so big. And that is the recipe, super duper easy. Just do that. Oh, and I add a little bit of water. You do that, you set it, and then you walk away. That's the best thing about it. You walk away and when you come back, when it beeps, you know that the food is ready. And you can chow down. We already prepped with the salad. So we have a nice salad going on. And like I said, this is our appetizer. A yummy, healthy uh, smoothie packed with nutrients, nutrients and vitamins to help keep get our body going in the right way. All right, Virginia. I hope that answered your question. And thank you so much for watching. You guys, thank you for hanging out with me on this Sunday. Have a great rest of your day. I really enjoy talking with you guys. And you can check me out at homeschoolingandoils.com. And you can go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe because I will do, be doing cooking, things dealing with education, homeschooling, and about our wellness. And doing some reviews and giveaways as well. I'm gearing to be doing some health and wellness giveaways and also some educational giveaways for my Lord subscribers. So again, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.